Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we want to give a huge thank you to Brooklinen for sponsoring today's video. This is part two of our bedroom makeover and we are so excited to finally reveal what we have been working on. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned. It's gonna be a really fun video. So just to catch you guys up on what we have started with and what we have done. So this is obviously our before and we have repainted and done a lot in our part one. So for this video, we're going to be finishing up and finalizing everything. So I am really, really okay. excited. Our living room is starting to look like uh, storage at this point, but we're getting there. We are just finally starting to see some things come together. Our lighting is about to go up and it is really exciting. So this is the mood board that I showed you guys in the first video, I need to incorporate some art. So I found this amazing picture at the thrift store. Just kidding. <laughs> no, I was really looking for some more traditional style frames. I want to do like a canvas type painting of my own. So I came to the thrift store to look for kind of a rectangular frame since we have kind of an empty wall right above our bed. So this one actually had some more of that traditional style, which I really liked. So I picked this one up for $6 and I started taking it apart to see if I could kind of work with what I had. So I ended up using um, some linen that I had in the garage I hot glued the linen onto the little board part and then it gave me a blank canvas to paint on. So what more perfect was that? It was pretty much a $6 project. We had everything at home, so it was right up my alley. I really loved the texture. It's actually kind of like a canvas type. You can get this canvas at places like Hobby Lobby or Joann's. I had this one in the garage, but I love the blank canvas look. It kind of has an off-white color, which I was gonna paint over anyway, but the color is just really pretty as it is. So I actually just rolled a base layer of the Revere Pewter, which is what I was using in my bedroom, on the base, and then I went down that middle line with just some brown paint. And I just used a, a very basic <laughs> paintbrush and then just kind of blended it all together. And then I would just keep adding colors in, add a little bit of white and blend it. And it just made a really simple and easy painting with just that one brown stripe in the middle and then adding the white. So for the frame, I actually just spray painted it black. And then I used a little bit of rub and buff right on the little lip that was kind of on the border. So I just wanted a little bit of that kind of antiqued um, gold to just kind of shine. I felt like the black was just a little bit too black. So I wanted a little bit of sparkle somehow some in there. So for the entry wall that is kind of right by the entrance of our bedroom, I grabbed these frames. I will link them below. They have a really pretty white canvas and they're 14 by 18 with an eight by 10 insert. They're in a really pretty kind of lighter oak color. And I just thought that they would be really pretty with some black and white photographs. So I actually had these printed really last minute from Walgreens. And this was from a trip we took to the beach with the boys last summer and it was one of the funnest trips. So I couldn't wait to get these pictures printed and they're just really, really neat. Hey guys, so I wanted to tell you guys about Brooklinen really quick. We wanted to find high quality luxury sheets for our bed at an affordable price. Sounds almost impossible, right? Well, not quite. So Brooklinen's philosophy is they want everybody to be able to have high quality luxury sheets at an affordable price. Right now, Brooklinen is offering my viewers $20 off any purchase over $100 or more 
using my code, see the link below. So with Brooklinen, you get the high quality and comfort because Brooklinen cuts out the middleman. And what better way to elevate the look of your home than by adding luxury home essentials like bedding. Brooklinen has over 90,000 five-star reviews, which is more than any other online bedding company, which makes for almost half a million happy sleepers and counting. But for me, making my home beautiful is the ultimate form of self-care. You can even customize your look by choosing from 25 different colors that you can mix and match for your specific style. So the Lux and Hardcore bundles can cost between $200 and $250 depending on the size of your bed, but comparing them to other luxury brands, they can cost upwards of $400. And instead of buying individual items, you can save 25% by purchasing their Hardcore bundle, and that includes the core sheet set, the duvet cover, and the pillowcases. So you get a whole complete new sheet set for that price. If you think about it, you spend about a third of your life in sheets. So don't you want your sheets to be super comfortable? Don't forget to use my code in the link below for $20 off your purchase of $100 or more. You guys, these are honestly the most comfortable sheets. Make sure you go to Brooklinen online and grab your set today. So after having the coziest sleep of my life, I grabbed a cup of coffee and it was time to tackle putting together the nightstands. So we have a lot going on here. We have our nightstands being put together up in the front and then in the back, we have a partial painting project halfway done. So there was a lot going on here, but nothing a cup of coffee can't help, right? <laughs> These nightstands were actually pretty easy to put together. I was pleasantly surprised. I feel like putting together furniture has come a long way. These were relatively easy. They took me about an hour or so each. We have two, so they were pretty easy though. I will link these below in case you are interested. These are definitely a more affordable option for nightstand. They have a cute little cane detailing. However, the cane is not real cane. It is kind of a printed one, but nothing that you can't DIY yourself. You can always grab a piece of cane and hot glue it on there, but I think that it's really almost impossible to tell. Um, I don't think you would notice if I didn't say anything. And my favorite part is always decorating. This is the cutest little marble picture frame, and that is one of my favorite pictures of my son playing under the lemon tree at our old house. So I like to put that with a stack of books and then just some little brass links right on top for a super simple kind of designer style. I love the way that this marble frame really elevates the look and the style of our room, but it still is easily tied into more rustic elements into our bedroom as well. I wanted to incorporate some dried florals on the nightstand, so I went to Hobby Lobby. I found these, I believe they are a flax, and they are in kind of a yellow golden color. So I picked up two of these bunches, and it is even better when they are 50% off, which is every other week at Hobby Lobby, so. This is one of my most favorite recent finds from the Studio McGee collection. This vase, it has the prettiest texture on it, so I knew I wanted to use this in my bedroom. I absolutely love this vase, so I will link it for you guys down below. So I'm just going to put those dried florals right into this vase and then plop it on my nightstand for kind of a rustic look, but still lots of texture lots of natural elements, it will go perfect. So what I do is I take the flax and I'll just kind of measure it out at the height that I want it. And then I'll give it a good cut with some scissors. Make sure your scissors are sharp because mine are super dull. <laughs> And then I'll just place them in there and kind of arrange them. If they have to be like taken out or put back in, I just kind of play around with them until I get them all a similar height and not super messy. I like more of kind of a nicer, prettier look, if that makes sense. So these are actually a little bit of two different colors. Some has um, a little bit more green and then some are more yellow. So I just kind of blended them all together. And like I said, just kind of play around with them until they look pretty. And I'm going to place this right on the nightstand right next to a very simple lamp that I have. 
So on the opposite nightstand, I'm going to add another stack of books and this time I'm gonna flip this one around. I'm not crazy about the binding. One of them is a Yellowstone book, not the show, although I love the show. Um, it's the Yellowstone Park book. It's still a really pretty book though. And then I'm gonna put a candle from Elman Co, our candle line. Make sure you check them out. We have new scents launching in February that we are so excited about. So I have two of these lamps. I am just going to use these instead of buying all new lamps. These have more of a modern feel, which I am okay with. And then for the nightstand, I'm gonna put this little box it has the prettiest linen texture and I can't wait to fill it with jewelry and all types of pretty things. It has little organizer type things inside. So these are the curtains that I use all over my house. These are the Threshold 99% blackout curtain. These are in the 95 inch. I like them a little bit longer. And for my bedroom, I'm going to use brown linen. I usually use sour cream throughout the rest of my house, but since our walls are so white, I definitely wanted to give a little bit more contrast. So I'm going with the brown linen and it worked perfectly. So one of the things I always love to do with the curtains is steam them. It makes the world of a difference. Trust me, I will link my steamer down below. This one is really inexpensive and it gets the job done. I love steaming the curtains. I feel like it just elevates the look and the style of a room. You don't want wrinkles. I feel like it just looks kind of sloppy and messy. And if you really want to take the look and the feel of your room to the next level, steaming is definitely helpful. So I'm gonna go a little bit close on these curtains so you can really see kind of the fibers and the linen. These are the Aruba style curtains and I feel like for the price, they are just really, really good quality. So I'm gonna be adding some decorative pillows to my bed. How many pillows do you guys have on your bed? I feel like I get a little bit annoyed with the decorative pillows, but they make the look and they just look so pretty. I have had this blanket for quite a while. I still love it so much. It just adds the perfect amount of texture, a little pop of neutral color, but I just love what it adds to the bed. We still have our older dresser. That is also a Crate and Barrel warehouse find that was a really great deal. So I'm gonna hang on to that. But if you remember how our bedroom started out, a little bit dark, a little bit different look. So I wanted to make our home feel a little more cohesive. And I think we did a really great job. This bedroom now feels more open, a little bit more light and airy definitely more cohesive with the rest of our house. A little touch of modern, which is what I love. Let me know what you guys think of this light in the comments below. I know it's not gonna be for everybody, but that's okay. I am still loving my DIY eucalyptus tree so much and the natural element that it brings to that room. I love all of the neutral tones. I just think it is such a relaxing, serene, really comfortable space. So when decorating, pillows might get kind of annoying, but I feel like they really make the look, especially that large lumbar. I just love the texture, the stripes, very neutral, but it's still super pretty. These linen pillow covers were such a great find from Amazon. I really like the color. I feel like it ties into everything perfectly. So I think one of the biggest things that really changes the look and feel of this room is the paint. They always say the power of paint, right? Well, in this case, I think it is dead on. The change of color on the doors, the hardware, the trim and the baseboards, it all really ties in together and it really does make a big difference. I even notice certain times of the day, the way that the sun hits the sheen, it almost adds a little bit of like a luster to that Revere pewter and it just looks so pretty. So we have now been sleeping in our new Brooklinen sheets for several nights now, and you guys, it honestly feels like hotel 
style. I'm not even kidding. They're so super soft and cozy. I even noticed myself wanting to make the bed now every day so that our room looks pretty and it even feels that much better to get tucked into bed every night. I love walking by these pictures. Every time we're going in and out of the room, I feel like they are the sweetest pictures and they just bring me so much joy to see my kids laughing and playing. This one was also a really fun project, which is kind of neat that you can kind of swap out things with seasonal or just keep it really neutral. I love DIYing projects like this. It just makes things so easy to switch out and fun at the same time. Also, I think the star of the show is the leather headboard that I got for about hundred bucks. Still can't get over that. That is going to wrap up this video. We hope that you guys enjoyed this bedroom makeover just as much as we did. It has been such a labor of love, but one that we love so, so, so much. So I hope some of these ideas or projects helped you in any way. If they did, let us know in the comments below or just say hi. We always love hearing from you guys. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you next time.